Ryan Taylor. An absolute war out there. Talk me through it. It's what I wanted, it's what I asked for, it's what I got. You know, some of the points I was landing it weren't coming in as clean. You know, Slim is a very awkward guy to fight. Inspiring, I've been sparring with like, you know, fucking undefeated kickboxing champions. Heavyweight guys that are very, you know, professional. This Slim is all over the place, bro. You don't know where he's gonna go. And even when you think he's gonna go there, he goes there. And then it comes out of there and you're like, fuck, you don't know where to block from, bro. He's a really awkward fighter to fight. Fucking hell, when the distance in it. You know, this? I think we're still upset people. If everyone's expecting that knockout, he didn't gonna get it. And I am, and he, he fucking hell, was a good fight, innit? This was, this was the fight everybody was talking about. Everybody wanted to see this fight, wanted to see how it played out. Did it deliver? Then he got the knockout. You know, Slim's 3-0 for whatever he is, the points, all knockouts. This time in the distance, innit? And we all, everyone knew if he went the distance, Here's another win boy point. He is a better boxer, bro. I started fighting this year. My first day in the gym boxing was February the 15th this year, bro. Yeah. Shortly after that. Was that like seven months, eight months? Bro, come on, man. But, you know, I'm committed to the sport. This is the game. If you don't respect it, it will get you. It's one of them things. Not about the people, not about this, about that. If you don't respect this sport, it will fucking get you. You know, tonight's the Sims better man than he did. He got the win, he, he got the W, but. It wasn't by what he wanted, he said he wanted to break my face and break all the bones, you know, it wasn't done, so... He got the win though, so fair play to him, innit? It's very, very big of you to say, you, you, we spoke earlier in the day on text, you said you would say that if, if, if that was to happen, but you went in there believing that you could win, and I think that you were saying that you wanted to run this one back. A million percent, bro, come on, that... Everyone wanted the knockouts, and he wasn't going to knock me out, bro, I said this, and those gloves, we're in... We're in the dressing room, we're like, Yo, there's nothing in these, Kane, but my Bellator professional best friend, Came Moose out of the danger, just come off a heavy win in Bellator. He was in there, he said, bro, these things, there's fucking nothing in these, you know what I mean? And Slim Corn with a lot of good punches, bro. Yeah, I've definitely got to run it. I'm fucking more than ready, bro. We've definitely got to run it back and buzz him. Talk to me a little bit about when you went down. Did you feel like you wanted to just get straight back in and carry on? Did it affect your thinking at all when you were in the fight? Uh, did I get down? You, you were down and the referee was counting you, but it looked like you wanted to just get straight back in. Is it just, was it just all in a blur? No, I think, I, think I, went, I, I don't know, innit? I think I went down and wanted to get back up. I don't really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about... I, I, I actually don't remember that. Uh, yeah, you've got me. Like, that definitely happened. But anyway, anyway, you, you, we've seen you embrace there. What's the beef now with you and Slim? We're boxers now, innit? I'm in the game now, I'm, you know. I've got a loss on me. I'm a professional boxer. You know, Slim's got the belt, Slim's got the title. He's still there, he's still the champion. So fair play to him. We're definitely gonna run this back, bro. A million percent. And I've got to ask the question: If if we see each other in hotels now, nah, are nah, we nah, civil? Nah, are we good? Nah, nah, nah. Since you know, since Mam's brought me in, had a good conversation with him. We're all blessed and everything's cool. Slim. Slim's come just come out of the medical room. Let's let's bring him in. They're talking about if we see each other. That, them times are gone now. Yeah, nah, that's it, bro. We we sorted that. We squashed it out like men. Yo, huge, massive. Risk. I swear, my respect for you has gone through the fucking roof, bro. You one tough ass dude. He is. Yo, he's a Nate Diaz in the YouTube boxing scene. I swear, he is so fucking tough, bro. I swear. Yo, my man, huge respect, bro. I swear, whoever's gonna fight Ryan, I feel bad for y'all. I swear to God, bro. I'm I don't want to fight you again. Fuck that. <laughs> Slim, talk to me about the fight. How did it feel when you were in there? Bro, uh, it felt crazy, man. You know what? I was hitting with some shots. I, I swear, I was expecting, like, I expected to drop him early, like, you know, second, third round. But he was taking some big punches and absorbing them, like he was, and still coming forward, like we were people, people, other. yeah. And we were talking, and he was talking, he was spitting blood at me. What was he saying? I don't know. He was like, "Come on now, come on!" I'm like, "Oh my god, bro!" And he was taking <laughs> some big shot, bro. I swear, no one can take those kind, that kind of punch and just walk forward too. So I gotta respect that shit. Like that's a heart of a warrior right here. That's something you can't teach. That's something you can't train for. Like that's something you, you just got in your. He got, he got the fucking guts. He got the balls. The the build up to this was insane. Yeah, it, the, was. the build up was the the build up was the, I think probably the biggest that we've seen uh, across the Misfits era. What did it do to you mentally before you went in the ring, knowing that there was so much? This was so much more than just a boxing match. Yeah. So um, you know, every other fight it was mostly for business, but this fight, honestly, I'm not like, I felt the most nervous for it because I don't know it was so personal me but you know we I hope this we show less to the kids out there you know like if you guys have beef or anything you squat you know end of the day you got like life is too short for that beef shit like yeah, it's real shit, life, boys life in South is, London yes guns down gloves up yeah 
Bikes up, yeah. knives down, all this shit, bro. Yeah. You can swash at the boxing match. You know, yeah. I just started fighting this year. You know yeah. that I started yeah, yeah. boxing. Hey, that's what I'm saying. I gotta respect that shit. He's so, but now, bro, this is this is my new sport, and I'm hey. in the game now. So hey, hey, let's go, let's go. You gotta respect it, man. And so all the kids out there, yo, if you have any beef for anybody, go squash it right now. Life is too short for that shit, for real. I hope you hope me and Ryan can teach the whole world a lesson like that. Slim, what happens with you next? Are you taking some time out? We're going to see you back out straight away. Tell me what happened. Hey, man, let's just say, man, if, if I get the right matchup for January, we is in there like swimwear. <laughs> you, I want to ask you both this. You can't say the other one. You can't say a rematch. What do you want next? What's the fight you want next? We can't say rematch. No, like, I, I, know you I, I want to see Ryan Taylor versus DK Money. That's what I want to see. Oh, that's a good one. Definitely. That's a good one. I swear that, that's what I would want to see. As a fan of YouTube, the, book, the boxing scene, I would love to see Ryan Taylor. I, I, I hope he headbutts me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he headbutts me. Hey, yo. Nah, we'll see what happens though, and yeah. we can make anything happen, man. This is, this is boxing. It. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course, mate. Of course it is. Slim, how about you? Next up. Uh, next up. I'm not going to no names out. I just want to sit back, relax. I'm in Sheffield, getting ready for the I'm after party. I'm going to be honest. Party. The energy has changed, though. Normally, you're ready what? to call out anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah energy, tell them, tell hey. them who you're feeling. Nah, man. Bro, I swear, you, you took a lot of energy out of me, son. For real, bro. What the fuck, man? Like, shit. Like, I, I don't have energy to after, for the after party, but yo. Man, I'm, I'm just tired. I just want to chill. I want to relax. I want to have a good time out here in the UK, man. And that's it. You know, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to my team and see what's next. There's a lot of people here. I think the ring caller said it as well before we leave this. I think there's a round of applause for these guys tonight. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. Brilliant fight. Enjoy your evening. Thank go you and relax. Thank you. Much love, bro. Much love, bro.